Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Let's try to get on board the airship without being seen. That's the hard part, not getting seen. I really don't know how that's going to work, because it looks like the only way up there is through the lift. So, I mean, what am I going to do? Like, grab onto the bottom of the lift or something and then start like crawling around the outside of the airship and try to find an entrance in or I don't even know um do I still have those invisible potion things like the potions of concealment is that a thing maybe oh yeah I've still got inventory items on me still got a pipe tool that I never returned to the guy should have done that <laughs> I still have cheesy bits on me <laughs> Is that going to be how I get on board? Mmm. Cheese with evensong. Not much, but enough to knock out a small creature. Or possibly a child. Don't know how much that's going to help me in this situation. Alright, so I need to get on the wall. Okay, so that's another batch of magicals, so I need to join them. Yeah, I need to be in with them, basically, I guess. Hmm. When's this ship taking off? In a few minutes, I think. It's fully loaded, barely any room in the hold. Is that the last of the magicals, then? From the ghetto, yeah. I mean, there are still stragglers. Uh, I see them around walking freely like they're actual people and not animals. That's disgusting. Oh, well, they're not really animals, are they? I mean, they're, like, intelligent. At least some of them. No, they're filthy animals. Good riddance to them. Well, I don't know. I had a long conversation about farming with a Dolmari last year at the Rooster. She seemed nice. You'll want to be careful talking about your love for the magicals. There's a reason they're being shipped off to the camps, you know. But I... Oh, never mind. Anyway, you should be up there keeping watch, not down here talking to me. I'm not sure how well I'm staying out of sight of the city guards, <laughs> given that I'm basically kissing this guy. Um, but yeah, maybe there's a way to distract him. Obviously, if I try to pull the lever right now, that ain't gonna work. So I think I need to distract him. Hmm. How would I do that? Honor Hilaris has posted these bills everywhere. He's serious about his run for office. Under his leadership, the city watch will fester and rot. Who's there? Who's there? So I guess I do still have the magical effect of the potion on me. Does that mean I can just pull the lever? I really doubt it. It seems extremely unlikely. But uh, I guess I should just try it, huh? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you mean he could notice and then kill me? Well, pff, who cares? Hey, we got a rebel here! Oh. Okay, so that really actually doesn't work. Um, hmm, he's actually looking away. Oh. Okay, um, that, that definitely works. Cool. Keon? Where are you? Oh, no, no. You're not going after him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Keon. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families, 
sent away to die, forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was, I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every magical on your own? Take on the entire Azadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me. Again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't, except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. What, that's it? I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vamon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years until I was uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was... a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew, from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're a Zadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... Or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine. And I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine! I'll help them. You're not pulling away this time. What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kianavane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, so do I have to do something special with them, or can I just slowly walk past? I, I don't really know if I actually still have that potion's effects on me. Or, or what. It's been a long time, I feel like I shouldn't. So maybe I'm just supposed to- yeah. Civilian, you're in violation of martial law. I was just going for a nighttime walk in a restricted area. Stay right there. You're under arrest. Okay, so running, bad idea, he hears me. Um, there's a bucket here, but I can't seem to do anything with it. Can I, like, push him over the edge? Nope, just the same thing as the other guy. From what I've learned traveling on cloud ships, this is a ship's bell. They use this to signal the crew when a load of cargo is ready to be hoisted up.
Kian, do not leave without me. Quick, pull me up. Oh, is this gonna be? Of course, it's gonna be a choice. <sighs> All right, come I on. Could... Hold on. Why did you pull me up? Because you, you asked. Begged me to. <sighs> You're infuriating. Because I pulled you up. Because you continue to give me no reason to hate you. <laughs> aside from murdering your father in front of you. Well, aside from that. Water under the bridge, maybe? That was a lot easier to get up into that cloud ship than I thought it would be. God, I hope this isn't the end of the episode, though, or this is going to be a very... Or, I hope this isn't the end of the book. Or this is going to be a very short episode. Please don't be the end. That'd be very awkward. No, it's the end! This is going to be like a 10-15 minute episode. <sighs> I didn't know. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. All right, well, let's see what decisions I've made and how they compare to other people. Okay, uh, Kian Alvane. I've opened up to others about my personal life. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not ashamed of who I am, but I'm also not comfortable with letting others get too close. And my words can be used against me. Some people may address me and treat me differently because of what I've revealed of myself. That's on them and not me. 99.3% of players made this choice. If that's not an overwhelming majority, I don't know what is. The Azadi mechanic left without his tool and map. No, oh, I knew there'd be consequences for not returning the tool. No. He'll know tomorrow that he was robbed of the rooster and kitten, and when his masters learn of his negligence, he will be punished. Okay, well at least I'm not the only one. I was slightly in the majority for that. <laughs> Me and 56.5% of players were incompetent. <sighs> poor mechanic. Poor, poor mechanic. <laughs> I drugged the rat with cheese and an Evan song. Evan cheese. <laughs> Perhaps I could have procured that hairy ground crawler in some other way. Your rat catching skills will matter little in the grand scheme of things. Looks like I was also a little bit in the majority there. Alright, so it didn't have to be cheese and drugs. I wonder what the other option was. Um, I know I know that at the time Bip was there and I could have asked him for help. So perhaps if I asked him for help, he would have uh, done something to... Uh, to, to get the rat and I wouldn't have had to use the cheese and drugs eh, either way it doesn't really matter I acted quickly and dodged out of the way giving the man in the suit a clear line of sight he shot the eye soldier behind me probably saving my life but who is he? why did he help me? me and 68% of players made that choice Baruti's data is still with Reza in Iceland. Was it right of me to give it to Sully? And when will the Hand be able to publish the story? At least Baruti's doing okay, even though I betrayed his trust. Me and about 79% of players made that choice. Ooh, I'm in a minority here. Attempting to blend in with the locals, I asked for a cup of mead at the Rooster and Kitten. That didn't pan out quite the way I expected. Your choice will probably have no consequence whatsoever. After all, what did you expect? Okay, yeah, that's not gonna matter. I couldn't just leave Liko behind. He'll prove useful to the mission. And maybe we'll grow closer and stronger as a team. Hmm. Definitely the ma majority there, too. 77% uh, of players.
All right, so there we go. There is the um, much, much delayed end of uh, Dreamfall Chapters, Book 3. Apologies for that, like, five-week uh, delay there. I'm sure that was kind of awkward. And if you waited and didn't watch anybody else's playthrough and just waited for me to put up the next episode, then that was probably an agonizing wait. Well, um, just a quick summary of this episode. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, it was okay. Um, I, I still really like, and I've always liked, what's been going on in the story in the game. In the entirety of Dreamfall chapters. The story has been very, very strong. But this episode felt kind of slow and a bit awkward, and... I, I didn't think it was great, but it was pretty good. And I'm still, as always... Really intrigued by what's going to happen next in the story. And it's just so great to see Crow again. I, I freaking love Crow. Ah. <sighs> I still remember meeting Crow in the original The Longest Journey. <laughs> oh, the pirate's bird. Oh, Crow. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed watching me play through Dreamfall Chapters Book 3. And, of course, as soon as Book 4 comes out, I will play it. Thank you for watching.